Oh, the ending. Good job, the Triple Card of Zero Two, fighting the Raiden Shogun. Oh God. Okay. In the last episode, the video reached the limit, so I was unable to finish this within that video. But we are continuing the great struggle against the Raiden Shogun. God, she is powerful, and she is killing the Luke. Okay. All right, Eugene, you got this. Oh God. Every time she dodges them, she's so fast. My goodness. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Get up, Eugene. You got this. You got the skills. All right, do your stupid teleport. Come on, do it. Ha, gotcha, bitch. You're dead now. Okay, that did not do as much as I was hoping for, but whatever. I feel better about it. Oh, God, no, Luke. Oh, he's alive. Oh, what the fuck? He's just alive again. What the hell? Okay, cool. I don't have to waste any reviving food. I guess that's how Miku's work. Probably. All right, well, let's just do that, okay, and then a little bit of this. Okay, that didn't do much. Okay. All right, it really is just up to Deluke and Yunjin here. God, but I believe in them. They got this. In fact, Yunjin not only killed Signora. We will kill the Shogun! Just one more. Come on. Yes! Whoo! God! You've lost, eh? That was crazy. She was strong, yes, my goodness. I have. Good. So you're gonna stop trying to kill me, you psycho? Why can you not trust your people? And in the power of their ambitions. Yeah, what the hell, lady? These ambitions have transcended space and time. They are something that no one can snuff out. When people move forward with all their might, they can surpass the gods' expectations. Is this the lesson you learned from your journey in Liyue? It is, yes. There are nations where humans cast their god aside and stride forward. Mm -hmm. So are we to just abandon the notion of progress for the sake of wishful thinking? You and I have both witnessed the great loss that progress can bring. Eternity. Eternity is the only way. No, it's really not. When lightning flashes, it casts a shadow. Ooh, this is pretty. My name means shadow. Interesting. With my blade, I purged all obstacles to progress. The snake deed! On Mudo. Something was lost with each step forward. What the hell is that? In the end, I even lost her. The tales are still retold in the shade of every Thunder Sakura. But the wounds left on our nation by that terrible loss still ache. Never stop searching, even if only for a brief flash of light. If nothing else, we have the present moment. She said that once. Who did? But I've seen a nation strike forward and lose everything to the heavenly principles. Perhaps only if time stands still will the lightning's glow never fade. The present moment is a fragile illusion. Only eternity can bring us closer to the heavenly principles. I am no longer the shadow. Mine is the most supreme and noble form. Let power over the realm be vested within me. In this form shall I honor my subject's dream for a land of eternity, unchanging forevermore. Hmm. The heavenly principles. Irrelevant nonsense as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad Yao Mik uh, Miko said it. When all's said and done, all you really want is to protect your beloved Inazuma forever and ever. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that would be something of an oversimplification. But is this nation worth existing for eternity? 
Stripped of ambitions, stripped of the potential for change. It does nothing more than simply... exist. It is a hollow shell of a nation. Hmm. hmm. I wonder what loss would it really be to anyone if such a nation were destroyed? Miko, retract your words. Never changing eternity is the promise I made to my people. Well, maybe it's time to change that promise. But what your people need from you is not your promises. They want your attention. Your divine gaze. <laughs> you mean visions? Humans have a lifespan of barely a hundred years. They cannot afford to bear any extra losses. But I have experienced it all. That cool. is why I have chosen to guide them along the correct path toward eternity. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I, someone's doing yard work outside. I thought that was part of the game. I was like, what is happening? That's just some dude using a weed whacker outside. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's funny. But eternity is far too cruel a fate for you, eh? <laughs> for me. For you, Raiden Shogun. Not only have you stopped paying attention to the world, but you have stopped paying attention to yourself. Hmm. It must have been terribly lonely here, all alone, for centuries on end. But it is necessary. He will miss much by refusing progress. You seek to prevent loss, but have you considered all you are losing by remaining here in stasis for all eternity? You're losing quite a bit there. You are obviously lonely. And yet, for the sake of eternity, you choose to stretch your loneliness out to infinity. Tell me this. Why is the sky here that was once so dark glowing again? Why now? This is your plane of euthymia. It's your inner world. So it can only mean that you are happy to see me again. You have found the loneliness here unbearable for a long time now, haven't you? I... Uh, ...have nothing to say to that. Mm. <laughs> but I have so much to say to you. Let me tell you all that has happened over the last few centuries. <laughs> How long will that take? As a fox envoy, I have an excellent memory. I recall every detail of the last few centuries with perfect clarity. Mm. So it will probably take me another few centuries to relay it to you. <laughs> Miko, I never thought I would have the chance to meet with you like this again. <sighs> Seeing you again is a change to eternity. And a very nice surprise. Good. So we're done with this eternity thing. <laughs> right? Since right, you right. are willing to admit that, I suppose that means we can still be friends? Hello. <laughs> what Girl. a childish conversation this is. <laughs> anyway, now that I have been defeated by you and your plan, I will honor your wish to abolish the Vision Hunt Decree. But... With regards to eternity, and the question of whether this nation should move forward... I need time to give it some thought. <laughs> so can everyone you get their thing You are the one who's been acting like a child from the very beginning. So they all get their visions back? Is As Tepe promised, gonna get a vision? The Raiden Shogun Wait, the please tell me Tepe gets a vision at the end, right? Finally, Before that'd be so sweet, please. wishes penetrated her locked heart. Beyond the plane of Euthymia, right. she saw what eternity means in the eyes of the world. When one's fervent ambition burns brightly, the gods will cast their gaze upon you. Hmm. Some ambitions have the power to heal wounds. To bring victory. Hey, to inspire Toma. hope. Ayaka? Ayaka! 
Oh, sorry, he was randomly with them. Okay. But some ambitions outlive their masters hmm. long after the soul ascends. They remain as they were in the beginning. Burning bright and true. For all eternity. Oh, that was his vision. Hmm. Oh, I guess I didn't even realize you weren't even with me. <laughs> I completely forgot about Paimon. She wasn't even there. I never even noticed. Oh, good grief. Oh, I'm such an awful friend. I'm so sorry, Paimon. Is the vision and decree abolished? It is abolished, yes. It was all thanks to Yaimi. Oh, gotcha. Paimon was super worried, you know. Paimon, I completely forgot about your existence, so it's irrelevant. But I'm sorry you felt bad. Uh, sure. Okay, but did Tepe get a vision? Did he... Did he become young again, at the very least? Like, are we just not gonna go back to that? Probably invested now. I wanna know what happened to poor Tepe. Like, I don't know, he was just this random side character who has the generic male model, but, like, I'm, I'm invested. I wanna know. I got to know. And what happened to Kucho Zara? Is she dead? Like, what... What did Signora do to her? Anyways, hi. It is I. Why, hello, if it isn't the triumphant traveler. Yes. And why might you be visiting the shrine? A sign of piety, perhaps. You literally told us to come meet you here! <laughs> I was just joking. I've been waiting for you. Mm. Seems like someone's in a pretty good mood. Well, she did just get her friend back. Mm hmm. Catching up with an old friend I hadn't seen in years was truly delightful. I'm sure. By the way, I heard that you had a duel before the throne, with a Fatui Harbinger no less. Courageous and astute. I must say, I am most impressed. It was a spur-of-the-moment thing. Defeating Signora head-on in a duel means that your strength exceeds my expectations. Good. Still, you did end up victorious. I gather congratulations are in order. I agree. Ah, sure feels good to finally thwart the Fatui plan for once. They caused plenty of trouble along the way, but at the very least, they didn't get their hands on another Gnosis. Wait a second. Did you say Gnosis? Did you know As in, the little thing that looks something like a chess piece. Yeah. Yep, that's the one. You see one too? Gnosis belong to the Seven. They're what keep them connected to Celestia. Oh. Well, what's wrong? Uh, I handed that over. What? Yaimiko! Yeah, well, how else was I supposed to save your skin from the Balladeer, exactly? You... What? You just handed over what he wanted? I would have rather just fought the dude! <sighs> the Genosis is long gone, then. The Balladeer is number six of the Fatui Harbingers. In terms of strength, he is superior to Signora. Okay, and I killed her, so... I'm not the kind of person who risks life and limb for any old reason. But that... that was important. <laughs> But why was the Genosis in your hands? After A created her puppet vessel, she no longer had anywhere to put it. Oh. As her erstwhile closest friend, A handed it over to me. And I've kept it in the Grand Narukami Shrine ever since. That explains why they were in there. She no longer needs the power of the Gnosis, and in any case, she tells me she has severed ties with Celestia. What? Thus the Gnosis became not only useless, but also a potential source of conflict. Oh, it's conflict, all Is right. Is that not a good bargain? Exchanging it for the one at the core of the plan? Well, I... D Judging by the results, at least, I dare say I struck a good deal. <laughs> I suppose. 
In light of it all, perhaps yes. When you put it like that, Paimon has to agree. The Traveler is worth more than a Gnosis. No wonder we haven't seen the Balladeer since. <sighs> well, what's done is done. And Paimon heartily thinks we'll be getting it back now. Let's leave the past in the past. Yes, but now they have three of them. And that is most concerning to me. Um, so, anyway, you still haven't told us why you called us here today. Yes, that too. <laughs> it's to thank you. You're having a funny way of showing it. Really? You intend to travel all over to Vat, and the time has come for the Inazuma leg of your trip to come to an end, has it not? I suppose so. As a mark of my gratitude, I will answer any questions you may have about the road ahead, or the events of the past. Interesting. What would you like to know about? The Shogun Puppet, about the former Raiden Shogun. The former? <laughs> Stop on my journey. Uh, yeah, let's hear about the Shogun Puppet. That puppet was built with technology that has been lost to time. Perhaps she, as a god, is the only one privy to the knowledge of its origins. Still, there is one other thing on this topic that I suspect you may be curious to know. And what would that be? Before A began modifying her own godly form, she took it upon herself to create a prototype puppet. So there's another one? So, you mean there are three riding shokens? What the frick? No. The prototype was merely a proof of concept. Its appearance and intellect were not based on A. It was a test. The original plan mm. was for A to simply discard it. But perhaps A thought this to be too cruel, because in the end she chose only to seal the power within it. Later, this puppet wandered Inazuma as an ordinary human male with his own consciousness. Until... the Fatui took an interest in him. Ugh! Not the Fatui! Some eccentric geniuses in the ranks of the Fatui made adjustments to the prototype, not only unsealing his power, but very likely rendering him even more formidable than his original specifications. Surely you don't mean... Mm-hmm. The object of divine creation is now the one who has taken possession of the Gnosis, and the prototype puppet is now known as the Balladeer. I thought he looked a little like her. That's kind of creepy. What in the... What a crazy story! It is, isn't it? Who can say whether it's coincidence or destiny? So, the former Raiden Shogun. Yeah, let's hear about that. I'm surprised an outlander like you is aware that there was once a change of Electro Archon. Few citizens of Inazuma are aware of this. Well, I'm a special case. Morax told us. He said that the Electro Archon Ball has passed away. Yes. The truth of the matter is that there were two twin gods, Baal and Beelzebul. Beelzebul? Twin gods? So why isn't the other one running in Azuma? They won the Archon War together, and when Baal established the Shogunate, Beelzebul became her Kagemusha, or Shadow Warrior. In other words, she acted as Baal's body double. Hmm. Beelzebul is A, with whom we are now both acquainted. Oh. Baal's name was Makoto. Makoto. As far as the world was aware, there were not two, but one. They complemented each other, and they ruled Inazuma jointly. So there was no need for the public to know the truth. In fact, the name Ball and the title of Raiden Shogun was understood to refer to both of them. Right up until... Until what? Makoto died several hundred years ago in a war that I was not personally involved in. Since then, A has assumed the Shogunate. Interesting. Losing her sister must have been super hard on A. That must have been the girl she was talking about during that cutscene. Several hundred years ago. Gonorrhea. That was when A began to change. Makoto was her greatest loss. Paimon feels like she understands A a lot better now after finding that out. So what kind of god was Makoto? I didn't spend a great deal of time with her, but my impression was she was a gentle god, who in each moment cherished the beauty of what was before her. Wow. About my uh, sister. Sorry, I haven't a Damn, clue. I know it. 
I'm also unfamiliar with the god you describe. But if you still have doubts about A, I would say they are misplaced. Not only does she not fit your description, but she voluntarily gave up her gnosis long ago, severing her ties with Celestia in the process. Having met her, I don't believe she was the one. That's good to hear. Otherwise, given that I'm her familiar, it could have made our relationship rather awkward, don't you think? I think so. Don't worry. We aren't looking to pick a fight with you. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. May you soon discover the truth behind it all. As for your sister's whereabouts, I will use all the resources at my disposal to investigate it. And I will also borrow some of Ayato's people from the Shiumatsuban. Hmm. I'll let you know if I find out anything. Consider it part of my means of thanking you. Yes, well, to thank me further... After leaving Inazuma, hmm... I think it would be easiest for you to go to Sumeru. Sumeru! Oh, Sumeru! We've run into loads of scholars from there on our journey so far! Mm hmm Yes, well... Sumeru is the land of the God of Wisdom, where the quest for wisdom and knowledge is never-ending. I think I like Sumeru. But their obsession gives rise to some truly inexplicable things. For example, in Sumeru, knowledge is holistically managed as a resource. Hmm. Knowledge is a resource? What? Yes. I don't know whether it was the sages or Lesser Lord Kusanali who came up with the idea. Lesser Lord Kusanali? That's a cute name. Oh, pardon. Oh, you haven't heard. Lesser Lord Kusanali is the deity in whom the people of Sumeru place their faith. It's their chosen term of endearment for her. So that must be Nahida. I'm sure you must have some things to discuss with her, too. I wish you all the best. Okay, well, uh, I guess I have no more Are questions. Are you sure? Okay, then. Oh, Traveler. Do you still have the Omamori I gave you? Of course. I'll keep it in a safe keep place. Keep it safe? Is that all you intend to do with it? What else do you expect me to do with it? There was me thinking that you might hang it around your neck to show off to the world, telling everyone who inquired that it was given to oh, you by none other than young Miko, this girl, the wise my. and beautiful. Okay, lady. Your right mind would do that. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Now, a question for you. Traveler, what is your ambition? To be reunited with my sister? Ah, uh, hell no, but that's the only option I got. I see. But that is merely a small goal, based on what preoccupies you here and now. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Your ambition should be something that transcends the world below and the starry sky above. Something that shines in unison with fate itself. Hmm. Perhaps the reason you do not possess a vision is that such an ambition has yet to be engendered within you. It's a possibility. Continue on your journey, and maybe that moment will come to pass. Hey, 38! All right. Getting closer and closer. Okay, so now we just go to Sumeru, which I already have unlocked. What is this video at? 23? Uh, I guess we could do... A little of Sumeru. Uh, I don't really know where we're supposed to go, like, specifically in Sumeru. It's up here somewhere, right? Is that it right there? Is that Sumeru? No, that's Liyue Harbor. In depths... Catherine seems to have a new commission for you. Go check it out. Uh, sure. Let's do this real fast, I guess. See what the heck's going on here in Liyue. Perhaps Zhongli is here somewhere. <gasps> Perhaps he brought Hu Tao with him. Who knows? But considering it involves you, I doubt it's anything of the former. What? Face her, what the frick? Ah, traveler. Right on cue. <laughs> Thank you. I try. Hey, Catherine! Got any new commissions for us today? Um, also, how come you look so happy to see? Yes. What have you done? <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> I went to the shrine to draw a fortune slip earlier. 
The Shrine Maiden told me that it is the season for an unexpected reunion. And that's why you called me? Catherine? Drawing fortune slips at the shrine? Uh, is it just Paimon or is that the most unusual thing ever? Probably. Wait, no, that's not the unusual part. We're in Lila. You went to Inazuma and back in a single day? That took a... Th what? Single day? Paimon, we had to wait three days just to, to do the, the fireworks thing. What do you mean a single day? <laughs> We were there for a while. A private life, you know. I, okay. okay, so when you say unexpected reunion, you mean running into us, right? Who can say? But the anticipation of knowing that an unexpected reunion is due is making me happy to see everyone I crossed paths with today. Oh, well. Fair enough. Even though we see each other pretty much every day, whatever. An unexpected chance. reunion. Wait. Are you saying? Oh, Paimon gets it. Well, let's just hope the shrine maiden was right. Oh, he's thinking. Oh. Fingers crossed, we find her. <laughs> I was thinking about Rex Lapis. He's thinking about his I'm sister. Sorry. Awkward. Okay. Did I say something I shouldn't have? No, you you're fine. Seem a little We're... down. No, no, you're fine, Catherine. It's, it's oh, fine. Oh, it's nothing. Anyway, back to business. Do you have a new commission you want to give to us? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. This one is from a miner. It seems to be related to investigating the chasm. Mm. Really? Does this mean the chasm's not sealed off anymore? I will leave the requester to fill you in on all the relevant details. His name is Yue Hui, and he should be at the chasm right Yue, now. Yue? All right then. Thanks, Catherine. We'll head there right away. Very well. Add Astra... Abyssosk. Hmm. This time you are truly bound for the abyss. Good luck to you both. Well, actually, I've already been in the spiral abyss. Wasn't too bad. Requiem of the Echoing Depths. Okay, so uh, I guess we gotta go. That's not what I want to do. It's like way over here. Are you kidding me? The one freaking one that I don't have unlocked. Gosh almighty. Is there... God, I have like nothing over here. Oh my god, nothing! What the heck? Okay. Uh... What would be the best... God, I have nothing. What the frick? I guess here, right? Or up here? We'll go here. I'm not too sure what would be the best course of action to to get there, but I mean, we'll get there. I believe in my skills. All right. Well, that was interesting. I don't know. I kind of feel like I liked uh, Leo Wei's story a bit more, but Inazuma was pretty good. You know what? I, I liked that a lot. That was pretty good. I uh, don't know if I'm going to pull for the Shogun, because she is coming up uh, after 5.0. I think the second phase of 5.0 she's going to be releasing, but I do want her weapon, though. I do think that thing looks really sick. I do kind of want that, but they're both five stars, so, you know... Gotta save them, primos. Uh, where am I going? I'm going, oh, way over there, eh? Uh, I guess we'll just go up here. Just run across the mountaintops and hippity hop our way over, I guess. So I'm assuming this is like the start of Sumeru? I'm assuming this is like, really in the area. Is there, there is. Let's go, I want to go to that one. Put that on my map. Okay, yeah, this way. This way we can have something to teleport to. Wait, where? What? 
This way. <laughs> Ooh. Careful now. Why, hello there. A rare flower, I'll take that. Almost there. Oh. The spear is a relic from... Oh, your spear. Whoa, what did I just get? Wait a minute. Hold up. Oh, I didn't actually get... Damn, I thought I just found like a free weapon. Bro, that would have been so sick. What the hell? So what? Is that just like in my inventory now? One of the six lost offerings scattered throughout the chasm. It was lost amid the ancient battlefield. Years ago, the long years have worn the edge of the spear point away, but it still looks quite om om ominous. God, I don't know why I couldn't say ominous. Uh, nonetheless, one can imagine that it was once wielded by a warrior most brave, earning the cheers of the young, wherever it's led. Chasm himself. Damn. Okay, well that's okay. Don't, don't fall now, Toma. So, I guess we're going... I guess forward! Oh god. Yeah, just a little bit over here. Should be fine, I think. What in the hell is that? Do I dare ask? Looks like something to do with a Geo character, so let's just keep moving for right now. Okay, it should be like right over here. Does anyone see it? Cuz I'm not. Oh, cuz we're not near it. It's like over there. So over here somewhere. Oh, is that it down there? Wait a minute. I think that's it. I do not want to jump all the way down there. I will never get back up here. You know what? We'll just pray to the gods that I will never need back up here specifically. Because I am not doing that. I am not going to do that. Um, so where... That, that way. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 hello. Do this instead! Ha-ha! <laughs> there it is. Almost there. Don't worry, Mr. Miner, I'm coming! I, what the? Yeah, all right. Well, I'm gonna ignore that. I'll take that. Take some of those too. Definitely need that. Make more of my my soup. According to this, it should just be up here. That's a bridge. Um, 
huh? Where, how? Uh, right here. Okay. Hey! Also, did I just see a teleporter nearby? Good, there's like, oh, perfect! This is much better than the one I was going to go try and get. There, so if we ever need it, we got that one. Good. Now, where's this miner guy? Right here somewhere? There he is, perfect. If we ever need it, we got it. Good. Hello there. Hi there! You must be Yuihoi, right? We've been sent by the Adventurers Guild. Ah, great. Good to meet you. Yes, I was the one who posted that commission. Wait a second. You look kind of familiar. Are you a famous adventurer or something? Never mind that social media. It's complicated. Oh, uh, all right, then. I'll start by introducing myself. I'm Yuehue, a miner, and I received a mining permit for the chasm yeah. just recently. I have a handful of other guys in my crew. Seriously? They actually give permits out for the chasm? Yes, the folks over at Yujing Terrace finally came to their senses and are now allowing a limited amount of ore mining near the surface. We were among the first to gain approval. Oh. But some things have happened recently that put all the miners on edge. Really? What happened? We haven't heard anything. We've been in Azuma Paimon. How would we? So... It's hard to say exactly how big of an issue it is. It could be something, could be nothing. The main thing is that it's just very strange. Mm -hmm. Yes. While one of the miners was on a break, he suddenly noticed a few hilly trolls walking his way. They seemed like they were in a daze or something. They walked right by him without giving him a single glance. They just made a beeline for the depths of the chasm. After that, the miners started observing his surroundings more closely and noticed the same thing happening time and time again. Hmm. Are the hilly trolls just curious? Maybe they just want to take a peek inside. <laughs> Not likely. The strange part is that in all the time this miner's been watching the hilly trolls, he's never seen any of them come back out. Okay, that's concerning. It seems to be a one-way trip. Once the hilly trolls go in, they never emerge again. And it seems to be happening more and more frequently as of late. What are these hilly trolls up to? What happens to them after they go inside? Is there a disaster brewing? These are the kinds of thoughts going through the guys' heads now. Everyone's driving themselves crazy worrying about it. Yeah, that does sound like cause for concern. Uh, Paimon's not surprised. Paimon feels spooked just hearing about it. I don't dare imagine what's going on inside the chasm. Exactly. The deepest fear is the fear of the unknown, you know? Mm. So we have to get to the bottom of it before everyone can put their minds at rest. Uh, <laughs> do we... Do we really want to take this commission? <laughs> um, thanks, Mr. Miner, sir. Uh, we need to consider it first. We'll take it. And, hey, you can at least pretend to consider Paimon's opinion first. When strange things like this happen, I'm inclined to think the Abyss Order is involved. Oh, so that's where you're coming from. Okay, then. Maybe we will find some clues about your twin. You'll really regret it if you don't go, huh? So, what's your verdict? Will you take the commission? No pressure, but I gotta say, I'm not loving the prospect of my mining permit going to waste. Yep, we'll take it. We're kind of curious ourselves now, too. Oh, great. You're doing me an enormous service here. Now, let me give you the rough location that the hilly trolls keep heading to. Interesting. Alright, well, uh, I thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I guess in the next one, we're going to go in the mines. But until then, take care, everybody!